Hello, welcome to Juniper Networks Learning Byte. My name is Marv Yunus. I'm a lab architect with Education Services Lab Team. In this Learning Byte, I'm going to be showing you how to deploy Juno Space on AVNG platform. So, what is AVNG? AVNG stands for Emulated Virtual Environment Next Generation. It's a great tool for learning new interconnected technologies such as networking, virtualization, containerization, any, any, anything that you want to learn by interconnecting different systems and you know, in a visual manner, right? It has a very easy to use web interface, which you can use to perform most of the operations. The only operations you probably have to go CLI is usually if you need to update or if you want to deploy images, right? So that's usually CLI is required for that. FNG can be deployed on newer generation PCs, BML servers, hypervisors, and the cloud. There is a community edition which is free to use and probably let you get started with the AVNG platform if you want to try it out. And you can do a lot of stuff there. But there are paid versions which have more features and also support, technical support if you need any support from the AVNG team. So that can be you know, helpful if you're doing a production deployment or something. Most of the Juniper virtual appliances can be run on AVNG as of today. And uh, you, know, you can go to the AVNG website to learn more about their latest features and requirements. So without further ado, let's go to the demonstration. So before you begin you know, deploying the AVNG, you first have to go to the Juniper support site to download the Juno Space image. So basically, uh, you can go to the Juno Space Network Management Platform website and then download the KVM image, okay? Basically, VNG uses KVM in the backend. So that's why you want to download the kubecow 2 image. And actually, there's a very good how-to doc on the VNG site. If you go to the uh, VNG site or how-to, there are different instructions. So Juno Space has a page here as well, as I, as I have it open. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, you have to get the QCOD to image and then run these commands and transfer it to the server and then basically rename the image and then you run the fix permission command, which basically kind of fix the permissions and make it ready for event to use. So I already got downloaded. I already downloaded the image from the Juniper site, the QCOD 2 image under my desktop. I have this Bastion host where I'm going to be using. So I'm going to transfer it to under this. I'm also connected to the AVNG server through WinSCP. Okay, so I'm going to go to the slash op, unit, lab, add-ons, and QEMU, okay? And then under there, I'm going to actually create a directory, like the site says, like this, right? I can just create. A directory for Juno Space using the WinSCP tool. That shouldn't be a problem. New directory. You can also use CLI, but it's up to you. Space 22.1 R1.5. I think that is the JSpace dash. Okay, that's the version, okay, that we are going to use 22.1. R1.5. Hit OK. Download that. Now I'm going to transfer this image, the QCOW2 image, under that directory. I'm showing you the WinSC method because that might be easier for some people who are not too familiar with the CLI, but you can also follow the same CLI method, you know, which I will probably run this command as, through the CLI. But uh, do that. So it's depending on your uh, image size or the network network speed, uh, you know, transfer may take some time because it's an image, right? So it's going to be done pretty soon. So once this is done, what I will do, I'll rename that image to the way they want it to rename. So I'm going to name it as this name. That's what they expect. Okay. Okay, once it's done. Okay. 
almost there. Okay, so I'm gonna right click and rename. I'm gonna just paste the name. Done. Okay, and then I actually had a CLI connection, I believe. Let me uh, reconnect my server. Okay, and I'm gonna run that command here. I think I had it here. This is the command that the doc says, right? Uh, let me copy from the docs just to make sure. Okay, this is the fixed permission command. You have to do that. Now once I do that, it may take some time. All right, it's gonna run through the uh, command. So, so you have to make sure you uh, now Juno Space is a very resource intensive uh, VM, right? I think uh, for vCPU you you have to allocate 16 gig. What they're saying here, but I would say uh, you know, the Juniper site. As of today, I think 32 gig is minimum better to use 32 gig if you have availability. But if it's a test system, you probably could try 16 gig. If you have more uh, firewalls or more stuff in the space, then you probably want to bump it up more, right? But I'm going to start with four CPU and 32 gig memory when I deploy this inside the platform, okay? So this is done, permission is done. So I'm going to go back to my event topology and Actually, let me log out and log back in. So I'm using 5.0.1, the latest release, pro release. But this, what I'm mentioning, should work on the, on the, uh, you know, community edition as well. I believe shouldn't be a problem. So let's uh, log in. Okay. Okay, I want to save it. So I'm so this is my topology. You know, that is already running. I'm gonna add space here under this topology. To add it, I have to click on the add an object and select add a node. And then I will have Juno space. And this is the uh, version that I just put in, it's available. If you have multiple version, they'll show up here. So I have 18.4 from before, but this is gonna be the uh, version that we're going to be using space I'm going to give it a name and then here I'm going to make it four and then I'm going to put three two seven six eight thirty two gig don't worry I wish there was a gigabit option but it doesn't have it there is no gigabyte option actually Ethernet I'll leave it at two Vertionic type that's all I'll leave it all default right and you can play with this but uh, I will just leave it as it is and only one I need, so that's all I'm gonna add. You can add multiple if you want. So once I have it, it should be there. I see it here. So now I'm gonna connect to the management network. First interface is fine. Okay, I'm gonna connect the second interface as well, just the same network in case we ever use or HA or something, but you can put a different network if you want. And then I'm gonna start it. Let me see. Starting up. Okay, so it's, it's started. Okay. Login is admin. ABC13 is the default password. And asking me to change the password. Okay, let me see if I can make it bigger. Okay. Okay, it's going to take a few minutes. Shouldn't be take a few minutes, I think. Okay. So, do you want to enable face mode of space? I'm going to say no because. This mode takes a, it's mostly for security, extra security if it's in a government or you know systems. But in this case, uh, I, I'm not gonna choose it. You can play with it, but if you choose yes, it takes a long time to set up. Okay, first installation. Do you want to still proceed with the space normal mode? Yes. Okay, and now what kind of installation is it? I'm gonna choose space platform. This is the first one. Usually that's what I would do. So that's a default anyway. Okay, now we're gonna uh, configure the IP. Enter an IP before address. Okay, let's add, add an address. 99. 
Then it's gonna spring edge mask. Okay. Oh, sorry, my I typo. Sorry about that. Okay, default gateway. Okay. Now name server. Same one. Interface for device management. No. Will you? Okay, it's gonna choose no here. There's no cluster, so this is the first one anyway. Now we have to configure the web GUI IP. Let's choose an IP. Okay, let's try this. To enable NAT service, I don't need NAT service. You can play with those things depending on your need, but this is just a basic setup that I'm doing. I don't need an NTP server right now. I don't want to change the time. Let's be a space one. Let's see. Okay, password for. Okay. Password for the maintenance mode. Okay. Now we're going to apply the change. And this is going to take a while, I believe. It's going to go through a lot of, lot of pro steps, scripts, and stuff uh, for the configuration. So I'm just going to pause the video and write back. Okay, let's see. So it looks like it's just probably done. Looks like there are a few errors because I'm not using all of the interfaces. So I, I can ignore those. Uh, but you can you can play with them more. But let me see if I can uh, so I can reach the web GUI IP and I can also reach the management IP. Let's bring up browser window. So I have this Linux desktop on my topology that's on the same network. Let's try to go to that site. Okay, got something. Looks like I have to accept it because we are using self signed certificate here. Okay, Juno Space is loading. It does take a while to install, depending on your server, how much resource you put in. If the more resource you put in, probably it'll, it'll be faster, right? So it took a while for me. I think still trying to uh, load right now. So uh, I'm gonna pause a few moments. I think it's still initializing a lot of things in the back end. There's a chance. Oh, here you go. See, it's still starting up. So I'm just going to put pause one more time and let it run its course and then come back again. Okay, looks like it is done. It took a while because of the resource I allocated. Uh, so if you want it to be faster, you probably want to make it, you know, uh, allocate more CPU and memory. That might help. So let me. So this is the URL of the space. Let me try. I think the default is super Juniper 1, 2, 3. So let me try logging as that. Okay. There you go. So I now have the space. I can change the password if I want. So that's about it. So I hope this video helps. Thank you for Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.